Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And I am back to show you and tell you which cards Louise is leaving us. How rude. Oh, she's listening and coming back. To show you that you guys chose to play with the best dress cards today. So these are two that I have already made. And that is using the best dress paper and the Peaceful Moments stamp set. Love this happy birthday. Perfect size. Works so, so, so perfectly well. So, and the vellum is the celebration vellum that is available for orders over $90 until the end of the month. So I did say that I sort of cased myself making these cards and I made some cards with you guys on video. So I made this one, this one, and this one. But rather than having a plain background, I've made thinner, used the vellum as a background and used the same punch and ribbon so i'd like to welcome you all for coming and please say hello if you're popping in on live or on the replay or even if you're over on youtube watching the replay also make sure if you haven't liked or subscribed to me please do so so you can see um new videos when I pop them up and get notified because I know a lot of you get um, terribly annoyed when you miss me live so I want you guys to have the opportunity to see me live hey Beryl hey Deb hey Diane thank you all for joining um so I think I'm gonna flick us around and get started Di's already made this card with me uh last weekend last weekend last weekend the weekend last weekend last weekend was so long ago but yes last weekend hey Lorraine thanks for joining um and to show you two other cards I've made with this set I have used this one with the uh flourish background die and I've also made this really nice perfume bottle one as well so had lots of fun with this paper yes last weekend it feels like so long ago and I have your order here but the box is unpacked as yet because I had to come in and play with you guys after I went foraging for food which was a mostly successful trip no toilet paper but I do have more than enough toilet paper to last us for a good while I'll flick us around while I keep chatting um but you know I had to get some meat and some veggies so the fresh supplies are there which is fantastic um so they were all there no issues at all because i get shipments of those um every day but it was just everything else there was a little pesky security guard bailed us up walking in going we don't have this we don't have that and it's like well we don't want those things anyway so please just let us get going hello miss mel it's so weird you coming in mel I'm so not used to you being available to watch and play. Understand if you don't type, being one-handed at all. Oh, God, guys, my lawnmower men just turned up. So we're probably going to have about five minutes of lawnmowers. Humbly apologise. Um, the other thing, if you missed my earlier video, we had have had our internet line cut by someone who thought they were, that someone came and did the wrong job and cut our internet line, which was rather annoying. Um, so I am running off mobile internet. So if there are any issues with connection and whatnot, please tell me. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to go on my replay video. I would love if someone could write a message because I'm okay not having a picture. But, oh, did that come? Yay, thank you, Maureen. I now know that um, my comments are working, but I have no picture. But that's fine. 
that's fine i will go turn off the overhead light get rid of these shadows and we'll get making i think i'm making like four or five of these cards because i'm getting rather desperate for birthday cards because when we had the blackouts no oh, whenever we have the blackouts we've had far too many things happen in the world in australia hey linda um I wrote all my birthday cards ready to put in the mail till like the end of May and I slaughtered my happy birthday or my birthday card stash so I'm really really happy to be building that up again okay so I've used two different types of ribbon for this card and I'm going to show you something cool that one of my customers uh, did this is the polka dot tulle ribbon which goes really well with the dots in the vellum and then I have the um, petal pink organdy ribbon and that goes really well because we've got petal pink in the paper and I have used petal pink to mat our and I have two pieces as well as the roll um, yeah so got those i have lots of these cut ready to go i cut up however i cut up all the sheets so these are ready to go we'll see how we go and i also have so i've got lots of patterns so one side is a floral the other side is more <clears throat> excuse me more of a motif uh, please tell me if the lawnmower men get really annoying. So we have shoes, perfume bottles and handbags. So I've got six of those here. So let's make six cards. And let's hope I have six of these as well. It looks like I have four, but I can make it work. So what i think i want to start with is stamping the sentiment and would you believe i did not look up the name of the punch set that i'm going to use and i went oh yes i must look that up but i do have the catalog on my computer and i'm just going to look it up for you i can't remember where it is in the catalog it's such a pain i know which side of the page it's on the right hand side of the page but that's about all i can tell you and i think i may have gone too far let me do a quick scroll here because this punch is one of the new ones in the mini catalog the january to june mini catalog and it's very very versatile actually if i'm smart i'll look in the bundles at the front of the catalog and see if i can find it because at the front of the mini catalog it shows you all the stamp and die bundles and stamp and punch bundles that are available oh my god do you think i can find it i cannot this is really annoying let me grab the punch at least it's this one and it's called label me something whether it's label me fancy or label me lovely something along those lines and I get mixed up between the two because I only bought one and I'm still scrolling so how many of you actually bought this punch and noticed that you can do a slot and a, it's, I call it a ribbon slot and one of my customers who was at my class actually used it as a ribbon slot and you've also got a hole to pop some baker's twine through to make this into a tag which is fantastic. So what you do, you punch out your label first and it is called the Label Me Fancy. So you punch out your label first and then you can pop it back in to get your dot or your slot. So the label me fancy punch. I know, totally dropping the ball, Mel, totally. Now, 
The only, the only thing that's a bit different about this punch, and I'll show you one of our other punches. So normally our punches go horizontal, where this one goes vertical, so then we can get the side punches in. So it just changes how I'm going to punch on this piece of paper. So I'm actually going to punch this way, so then I can slot it in and punch all the way up. So now that I've done all that talking and forgetting things, huh, let's get to it. So I've got my stamp here, lovely colour bond fences and whipper snipping. And the colour I have used to stamp with is Blackberry Bliss, one of my favourite colours. Hey Joanne, thanks for joining. I just put my whole finger in that. Let's, let's use the hand sanitizer sparingly just to get the excess off my thumb. Is everyone using all the things they can't get incredibly sparingly or can you get things where you are in the world? Because this, as I was saying before, this, um, oh, I did it again. This security card dude, he goes, we don't have toilet paper, we don't have flour, we don't have sugar, we don't have tissues, paper towels hand sanitizer I can't think of what else he said so it was actually a bit rude because we went okay thank you and he kept talking it's just like go away leave us alone I'll see if I can get one more at the top and then I just might need to grab another scrap so I'm going to play smart and not hard and leave this punch on the table and although I possibly should have oh no oh, no I can get away with it kind of sort of just didn't think about the dot did I I can put on a gem or something. I think I'm stuffed though. For the rest of them. Damn. I'm just going to use a gem. I'll get down my um, champagne rhinestones. I know they are on back order at the moment, but if you have the like Cajun Craze blend, you can make your own with rhinestones. I should actually do that and show you how it turns out. Hello, Miss Nader. Miss Nader, are you in a free period at the moment? Are you allowed to be I here with me? That. Could you try again? No, I can't try again, Siri. Okay, so how Sorry. many did we work out? We had one, two, got five so I do need one more I have thoroughly used this piece of mint macaron so let's see what else I have available oh I have zero scraps well I lie it's not zero scraps but it's a big scrap okay and I might just punch a few more for good measure here and one here and see how we go rookie mistake totally you think I'd know after making this card however many times but you know I was trying to play smart and it backfired but hey it's only paper isn't it now move the ink pad so I don't turn the paper like very bliss 
because we all know I will do that. Okay, how many of them were like really bad? That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. Yeah. I reckon I can save most of them. Look, we'll leave it like that and see how we go. But I have that done and I will put the label me fancy punch just up here. I can close my ink pad. So as you can see, because I've got all this stuff partially prepped, it's all going to go fairly quickly. I do apologise for my lawnmower men. Just life. But at least they have a lovely day to do it. It's um, actually going to be very warm here today. Like high 30s I think was the forecast. I was out before. It wasn't that hot yet but we normally don't get that hot till the afternoon now these strips are longer than the ones I'm putting them on so I'm just seeing where I can I can cut a bit of white off the top and a bit of white off the bottom there is one done and I'm putting the glue on my petal pink piece Pardon, David? I forgot to message her. And I am on live. Ah, uh, you're fine. You can make coffee. Can't be any louder than the lawn mowing man. Isn't he nice and considerate making a cup of tea rather than a coffee so he doesn't disturb us? Sometimes he's a real keeper. Hello, Teresa. Yep, exactly. I can. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could give you the sounds of spring and summer, Maureen, just to let you dream of what is to come in your upcoming season where we are in autumn. But I'm getting some killer growth on my plants at the moment. Or maybe I'm only making four. Oh, that's right. I was going to cut a few more strips. Um, I'm getting some really nice growth on my plants at the moment. The ones I planted like in late November last year. Getting some, yeah, really, really happy with how they're coming. And a couple of the ones I've transplanted appear to be having brand new growth and they're like um, grass trees we call them blackboards um, because when they burn they the trunks go all black um, so yeah and I'm sure it may have some other quite derogatory thing but yeah they're grass trees okay that one Lorraine <laughs> David Lorraine asked for a cocktail please oh he doesn't do cocktails I'm the one that makes cocktails in this house and I can't make a card and do cocktails at the same time I do like this stripe but I think I like the handbags better Okay, so these strips are two inches. So then when I cut the six by six piece of paper, I got three strips. So just trying to be economical um, and using the whole piece rather than having lots of odd strips. Now, let me grab my petal pink paper and see what I have left. I know I do have some scrap. Is that the right height? No, it is not. And I'm sure this is an actual real card front. Right. 
So I always check my scraps as I tell you. And none of the ones on the back are big enough. So just quickly chop this. If I can get a piece of paper out, which I can, luckily. We can go there, trimmer. Still loving my trimmer. I have had to change the blade a few times. Uh, I think I've used two blades, but considering how much I've got to see the card, um, how much I actually cut because I cut up for classes and I do team swaps and I make a lot of cards. Um, yeah, they're all willing. Oh, Mel wants a delivery of a cocktail. You're being called a spoil sport. And Maureen in Canada would like a coffee, please. Taking lots of orders. <laughs> hey, Cindy, how are you? Um, now, I'm assuming, huh, big assumptions here. We'll see how wide I cut this. I was spot on. Right there. And I just need to, and having it straight would be incredibly helpful. One and two. So I think I'm doing like two and an eighth just to make it a bit wider but not cover up a lot of that beautiful vellum. Okay, scraps can go in because I need to do a bit of clean up as I go otherwise it will all end up on the dog hairy floor. I'm actually, I say this, I'm going out tonight with some girls from work. Um, so we'll see how we do with the social distancing because we're all fine. We've all worked together all week and we're all fine. So we'll just have to social distance ourselves from everyone else. So, yeah, we're doing belated drinks and dinner for one of the girls' birthdays, which will be very nice. I am glad to get out of the house. Going to Aldi and doing shopping doesn't quite cut it as a social outing. Um, do I dare say I'm looking forward to my hospital appointment next week? They've got the social distancing down pat. Um, but I get to talk to some different people. Yay! That's really sad. I know. I know, I know. Okay, and I oh, love the perfume bottles. They're so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So, me sticking this on is the end of our wet glue because I'm using vellum on this card and wet glue and vellum equals lots of buckling. So I am putting the lid on now and for this one I just want to oh, just put my whole hand in that glue. just want to have a bit of white to cut off at the top and the bottom and just to make it look even and lovely. Ah, well, I've got to ring the girls to see if we are still on because I haven't been at work since Wednesday just because they're my shifts. Um, but, yeah, as far as I'm aware, we haven't got anything um, closed. But, oh, wrong scissors. Um, the boys have... They did their last karate class. They're going to online karate classes. They haven't been swimming because they have had a bit of a mild cold. Um, so we haven't been swimming, but more than happy to take them swimming. Look, 
I'm um, I'm happy to do some things. They can't stop everything. Otherwise, they and myself and David would go absolutely burk on bonkers. Um, we did have an appointment over the phone this week. Um, the therapist was looking after herself because she is in that older age bracket. Um, so we were able to access her, but just not by um, in person. So yeah, we don't have too many appointments, but the ones that we have are quite important so just washing hands being smart all of that kind of jazz which is good not going over the top even though I am in a higher risk group because when I get sick I get um yeah it's not fun is it Mel Ellen sick is not fun because I can't walk in a straight line. And no, I don't drink when I'm sick. It's just an effect of my neuropathy and just what it does to me. But hey, that's life. I think some of these might be too long. I don't know. We'll see how we go. They are all trimmed up, ready to go. And do you know what? If I was smart, I would have been putting these in my little dish. But I wasn't playing smart today. Okay, so they are all done. And, oh yeah, a couple of them are quite long. We'll see how we go. Um, oh, kamikaze. So let's choose my six. That one is a definite no. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that one's not hiding from anywhere. So I've chosen those, but before I put anything on, I want to show you what my customer did with this ribbon. And she went, so Anne said to me, you may have seen the photo, but I want to show you how she did it. Fair enough. I think, um, oh, I've still got the ribbon in my hand. If they shut everything down, the economy plummets. And I think that's where the Australian government is currently going and looking after is just trying to keep the economy going which is pretty much why the schools are open so she said Ellen can you get the stamp and blends that go with the paper so I can colour in my ribbon polka dot because she didn't want to use it um, she didn't want to use it plain so she just went along and coloured in these which I thought was a fantastic idea you just need to be a little patient because they are it is fabric and does take a few seconds and I've losing a piece of nail there but yeah, just to show you what she did. Oh, not in the same spot. But yeah, she just went through and did this. I thought, oh, genius. And she was so happy with the end result. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not immunosuppressed, but... If I do catch a virus, um, it affects my balance. So I was talking to my stepdaughter last night who is an emergency nurse at our local hospital and is, is very experienced and done this job for many, many years. And I said, um, should I be worried? And she went, oh, yeah, you should, but... 
yeah so and I said I asked her point blank I said what extra and different things are you doing and she went nothing it's flu season it's just more easily caught and I went okay ah very nice yes confetti ribbon that's exactly right I'm not going to use that because that takes too long but I did just uh, want to show you and I'll show it to you a bit closer up just put it over yeah, it doesn't want to stay does not want to stay right there you go so that's what it looks like closer up she did a great job great job such great ideas now I can lose that piece of paper and I need to turn all of these over because what I'm going to do is use snail on the back put on some ribbon and then um, and then put on dimensionals from there I found that the easiest thing to do ah very nice Cindy and because I'm making so many I'm actually going to play smart in a way and I'm just going to use this petal pink ribbon and so I just give it a bit of a burnish with my finger and I do have I swear I did get out my ribbon scissors so I'm just going to pop it down snip it and just keep going down oh, that wasn't very well done if my hand stops tremoring I may be able to so that's, that's one down and a mini avalanche oh Julie you have to use it it's an awesome set such a good set so really versatile there must be a sticky spot right there someone needs to get me to change <coughs> my messy mat because it's really come to the point that I need to change it but it's a pain to change because I tape it down at the sides um, so it's not so easy to um, change it over because I have to take up all the tape remove all the stick and start from the start again Hey Sam, how are you? We're making these really cute happy birthday cards and I'm making six of them. So just doing our sentiments using some scraps of ribbon. Or oh, I think I got this on like a gift. I think I got it on a stamp set that I won as a gift at a teen day. So. Just making our little sentiment clusters. It's a mass producing at its finest. So has everyone got all the celebration goodies that they wanted? Because we are coming up to having 11 days left in the month. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was just making sure we do have 31 days in March, I was saying my little rhyme and indeed we do have 31 days because the rhyme told me so they are super cute and I just adore this vellum it's so pretty and it's pre-embossed and it's vellum and it's purple I can't ask for anything else really I just can't you've got everything Nick I think I do. I think I do. And I've played with everything I've got, which is always makes me happy as well. Mm. 
Oh dear word. Right. And oh, this piece of ribbon will do all of them, which is fantastic. And I haven't had to delve into the rolls. Plus doubles, yeah. I've got a couple of doubles of the ladybug. Still deciding what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to have a look at my customers that have earned it themselves. And I might do a bit of a sneaky draw of all my customers that have partaken in celebration and um, give a couple away because I can really only have one okay yep, that one's right and one more and I still have ribbon left snail ran away on me very rude okay Done, done, done. Well, done with this for the moment. And then I will add dimensionals ready to rock. So I'm going to put the dimensionals like over the ribbon and on the cardstock um, because that tends to work better. And I'll show you, I'll explain. I'll explain. So if I put it just on the ribbon and the ribbon stick comes apart, sadly, it shouldn't. But if that happened, um, your card would just totally come apart. Where if I put like one here, half on the cardstock, half on the ribbon, it keeps everything super duper adhered. I think two dimensionals is enough. That'll be good balance because it isn't a huge piece of um it isn't a huge label i think just doing this is perfect i know i know i know nick i'm totally with you february just yep it just flew absolutely flew flew i am i'm totally 100 percent david's asthma is just complicating his own sickness and he's still just down to a cough he never had fevers he just had was a bit snotty and a bit of a cough um, he's down to that and the boys are pretty much 100% themselves which is fantastic Mel, am I appeasing you with my use of dimensionals? Because I'm outing you because I talk of you often of my live videos that you like to, you've made me, without realising it, use my dimensionals in a linear. Sorry, that was my mum calling me from Perth. So, Nick, if you knock into a man that looks like me it's probably my dad well actually i don't know if they're back in perth they're going to margaret river going on lovely anniversary holiday okay good i'm glad i made you laugh oh no cindy no well do you want to say I can't get paper pumpkin at all. So, yeah. There you go. They are ready to rock and roll. I have all my pieces of vellum here. So, I'm going to use snail to adhere these. <coughs> because if we use wet glue, we are going to buckle our whole piece. Actually, that's good. Put this to the side. It doesn't matter where we put it, just as long as it's somewhat straightish and even to the ends, it'd be preferable as well. 
but I use the dots on the paper to line that up because it just makes it easier and still not straight. But do you know what? It's handmade. So there's one done. Give it a really nice burnish. So that's all adhered. A man like, well, looks like me. I don't know, Mel is my dad. Am I like my dad personality wise? She's a, she probably knows my family the best. More than Jamie and Jamie's not here. Hey, Carol. How is South Australia today? So, yeah, if you want any goss, you've got to be bribing Mel right now. Because we've known each other for 30 years. No, no. I want to put this. I, I really like keeping this Blackberry Bliss um, handbag. So, I'm just going to change my order of my handbags and chop off the bottom no jamie tonight i'm not sure well should i say today here not sure where jamie's at today she might be trying to forage for food as well like i was earlier okay that's all trimmed up so that's where do i put the other one too Hello, Miss Margaret. Thank you for joining. Ah. ah, yes. Mel can't type properly. Awesome. Love it, Mel. Love it. All my secrets are safe now. So is this the type of card you girls would like to receive for your birthday? What do you prefer? The handbags, the shoes or the perfume? Ah, very good. Well, we snagged the kids' pizzas at Aldi for dinner tonight, which is awesome because I do have little Mr. Owen, or not so little anymore, who is very, very particular with his food. Um, and they just happen to have two of his pizzas, so I grabbed those. But we do have some other ones that he will have to consume. But, um, yeah, we shall see. We only have Friday nights always pizza night here for the boys. You like shoes. I like the shoes and the perfume. But I like the shoes because I can't wear anything but granny shoes, which is really, really sad. So I am going to the podiatrist this afternoon and giving him my very expensive, non-attractive shoes to do his handiwork with to keep me on my feet and that'll cost me i know i know i know ah uh, see we are nowhere near close to a costco i'm sure all the central coast people would love a costco on the central coast uh, but i think we certainly did campaign for one when Bunnings moved. What was it? Bunnings moved and then was taken over by a car museum. That was an awesome place, that car museum. And um, then we went, bring up Costco. Costco or Ikea? Oh my God, having an Ikea on the coast. Oh, heaven. Heaven, heaven. Um, but yes, but nothing, it's still, I don't even know if anyone bought the old hardware site or not, because nothing's, oh. okay, how far, it, but it's at least an hour and a half drive, Julie, 
It's not as if it's half an hour. It's like an hour and a half. And for me, that's a lot of walking around uh, Costco. Like here is it. Is that at Tempe? Julie? Because I know there are a couple of Costco's in Sydney. Oh my god, and it's an hour away. The line was around. Oh, I'm sure it would be. Wow, you're crazy going that first day, Nick. Crazy woman. Okay, one more, and I'm happy to sacrifice that purple posy one at the top because I have purple posy at the bottom oh at marsden park okay oh you don't have the membership so okay so talk to me about the costco memberships in australia girls what do you get because you know i've just heard about it okay so let's pop these on and then we'll get to the card bases and I do have to pop on a few gems it's $60 for a year yeah but what do you get for your 60 bucks Nick okay one card front down Oh, wow. So close. It would. It'd just be like your normal shop then, Julie. Yeah, I'd need like an esky and oh, I'd need to borrow my parents' esky and yeah. A logistical nightmare for me, I think. But if anyone was willing to buy me stuff happily you can go get stuff for me so this one i like i really like the mint macaron bottle on this um on this perfume paper and where it's sitting so i think i'm going to put the happy birthday like up here rather than cover oh yeah. can't do this upside down just just there is good and I've realized I haven't punched some of these out in a nice fashion but they're handmade okay yeah but I don't have a lot of I don't have enough storage for all that toilet paper I do have a decent sized pantry but oh, I don't know Bulk buying just isn't my thing. Like even now, I'm there going, we need to stop buying things just because they're there. So our freezers are now full again after my efforts of trying not to get things. But because we can't get things, I um, think I'm going to put this one a bit higher as well yeah oh mm -hmm. i have this weird yeah they've broken big time uh because i have been scratching oh i made one too many it's okay can go in my use it up box um i'm going next week so this time next week i will have beautiful nails again because I'm having to use lots of cream on my body because I don't have a rash but I have some type of reaction going on and I scratch myself and I ping off my nails. That's my new skill apparently. Okay, so that one can go in my use it up box. Ah! 
Ah, yes, I have heard that as well, Linda. I certainly have. So, what was your favourite celebration item this year? I'm just curious. I know what mine is, and I'll tell you after you tell me. Okay. And right there. Awesome. So, those are all done. Card fronts done now i just need and i'm going to show you i don't even think i have enough card fronts i have four do i have one more whisper light i want thick whisper light <gasps> yes i do i have another two in here woohoo are they scored though they are unscored so let's quickly score them the B DSP, yep. You've seen all the fun I've had with the B DSP. And I still, I think I still have one more card to share using the B DSP. Ah, that's good. Oh, Lachlan needs a particular cut of meat for a food technology assessment task on Monday and he's not going to be able to get it but he did make his own vinaigrette and he pickled an onion last night in readiness for his food technology he loves cooking he cooks a really good steak it's just a shame I can't eat steak I'm thinking they're a bit thin. Poo. Ah, oh, they weren't card fronts. What a shame. I looked at them and thought, are they or aren't they? Oh, well. Right. Let's try again. And the little flower punch here. Yeah. I um, I didn't get the little flower punch. <laughs> no, I'm drinking tonight. My Kambana man is enjoying his coffee. He's had back-to-back -back meetings this morning before we ducked out to the shops so which was technically his lunch break okay so have our stamparatus here i'm going to take off my messy mat out of here and i'm going to put my magnet in the magnet hole on the back so easy quick fantastic way there was some ink on there to get these nice and square and folded and scored really easily is I just pop these into the corner grab my bone folder and saves me lining up because I know they're square into the corner and off I skedaddle doing these. So one, so just make sure they're both in there, hold it and done. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't had KFC in like mm, 20. 22 months couldn't think of anything worse although I can still eat potato chips and I'm sorry they do the best potato chips hands down 
and they're super duper yummy and scrummy. Especially if they're crunchy. Second fave is the vellum. Ah, see, I've used a whole pack and a third of the vellum because I made customer cards with a full pack first and then I, two, four, five. Why do I only have five? I don't have enough. Thanks for what? Oh, you're off. You're off. I know what you're saying thanks for. You're going back to work. You're abandoning us. No, oh, that piece is too small. Need to cut a whole nother sheet here, girls. Oh, it'd be easier if I had accounted in the first place. I do often have extras of the thick whisper wipe available but not today apparently okay so I always score first and then I cut done even on an uneven surface, it does fantastically well. Done. And one more for good luck. Oh, it's just my stomach can't stomach chicken. That's all. It makes me feel sick. But I like that you like KFC. But just there's nothing except for chips on the menu, which isn't very nutritious or protein filled that I can consume. You can have KFC as much as you want. Oh, no Naplan this year, Mel. Wow. Uh, and now, oh, that's okay, Myrtle. I'm just doing my almost last bit of assembly on these cards. So you can see the finished, the finished bit. So you can see I've gone within where I have things. So then we don't see the vellum. Uh, the adhesive rather through the vellum so that is that done that is one down and I do need to grab out my champagne rhinestones I said to cover a couple couple of bits and bobs uh, we are is it year nine, Mel? Owen would have been due to do NAPLAN. What are they doing about minimum standards? Because Lachlan's meant to start minimum standards. She is a school teacher, so she's getting all the news firsthand for us New South Wales people. David, NAPLAN's canned for the year. Which means Owen doesn't have to do it. Oh, thank you. The DSP is beautiful. And whilst I love the floral side, I just love these motifs on this particular um, DSPs. I just love the shoes. And I've seen so many people cut them out, cut the shoes out. And use them individually. And as you know, I ain't got the patience for that. No way do I have the patience for that. Yes, of course you can, Julie. I've cased my own card to make this. So, of course you can case it, Julie. You know, just my normal thing. If you share it online, give me credit. That's the only thing. 
And I know I often see a tag and go, oh, thanks. So it's lovely that you girls uh, do that. Might go through a whole roll of... Well, a whole roll of Dylan while I'm uh, Dylan snail while I'm here. Three, five, seven, and nine. No info for minimum standards. It's so online. Okay, no problems. I don't, I swear I saw something on our school's website that they were starting minimum standards this week. Mel, I swear Miss Forrest said that. But I may be wrong. That'll be um, not good for... Um, how will that affect your data that you collect, Mel? Because I know the schools use that to um, implement programs and do all of that. Thank you for what? Ah, oh, not talking to me. You just chat amongst yourselves. So you can see really how easily these come together and what I've in an hour, if I wasn't jibber-jabbering so much, I've made six cards. And maybe you girls are quicker card makers than me and can be even quicker yeah dates are not logged into opportunity okay fair enough mel thank you no worries oh hello miss beverly thank you for joining okay now a couple of these cards need not this one this one will need a little sprinkling of champagne rhinestones because they are the perfect color to go with my petal pink and for those of you that weren't here earlier if you would like i know these aren't available in a lot of markets at the moment but if you would like to recreate your own and you have a light cajun craze marker you can color your rhinestones with the light Cajun craze and create your own champagne. In fact, you can create any color using our, um, our stamp and blends, which is fantastic. That looks really weird there, but I'm just going to have to live with it because it's where the hole punched. Just doing a bit of I don't know I don't know no, not right over the happy maybe if I make it more of a cluster it will look better Now I don't like where that one is. Do you know what I really want is my pokey tool. Okay, and then this one can like go up there. I think that looks better. I just need to add one little one down here and I will be much happier so three two three one perfect done just adds a bit of sparkle uh, this one you can't really see the cut out that much it's not totally obvious that one's fine and that one's fine that was the one that was really glaringly obvious so yeah look i think 
I may have the bottle of shampoo that I could open. Oh, thank you for answering, Julie. Uh, thanks for answering, Nicole. Julie. Uh, Ju oh, my God. Thanks for answering, Julie, Nicole. I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay. So that is our cards completed. Ow. No one saw me do that, did they? So we have made, which one? I want to show one of the perfume ones. I'll show you this one. So we made six of the cards using Peaceful Moments. Label me fancy. I will grab, uh, we used the organdy striped ribbon. You could easily also use the polka dot ribbon that I used originally. Um, and we used the best dressed paper and the vellum. So not too many supplies and a lot of staple supplies that you have. Now, I know a lot of you wanted to see masculine cards, so I promise, I don't know if I can promise. David, what's in the diary for next Tuesday? I don't think he's listening to, pardon? He's going to look to see if I can come on live because I swear there's something in the diary prohibiting me from coming on live. I know my stepdaughter moves that day officially into her new house that she's bought. Um, but I, can't, I will endeavour. Pardon? On Tuesday, oh, yeah, 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 at work, work. I should be able to come on on Tuesday and show you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Perfect. Well, I should be able to come in for on Tuesday and show you the masculine card that is, once again, a take. Oh, I'll show you this while I'm here. For those of you that missed, one of my customers made polka, uh, made confetti polka dot ribbon using the blends, which is really, really cool. So I'll just pop that over to the side to show you. But yes, and then I will show you this amazing card as the last one um, later in the week. I will see how I go getting on because I've got quite a few things later next week. It's a busy one next week, but I will come and try. Even if I pop on next weekend, I'll definitely uh, get in here to show you my final two cards from my class last weekend thank you so much for joining me if you want any of these celebration or mini catalog items please contact me i'll be more than happy to help you have a wonderful weekend and i will catch you soon bye